Today we have two distinguished guests, uh, Professor of Rican uh, Corporation, Dr. Hayashi Zaki, and Director of the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology of Kazan Federal University, Andrei Kiyasov. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you for inviting. I know that our guest from Japan has a very packed itinerary here. Yes, yes. Uh, very, quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll start with our traditional question. What is the purpose of your current visit uh, to Kazan? And I know that it's, it's not your first visit. Uh, I came here around uh, two years ago. Uh, that was the first time. And uh, at that time, uh, I couldn't expect the, uh, so uh, what is the actual plan for uh, collaboration. But uh, after that, uh, we communicate uh, many times with uh, Dr. Kiyazo for uh, so the president, uh, Dr. Gavrov. Uh, after that, so we found the, uh, we, uh, there is a, a some a common uh, targets uh, to develop together. So they uh, especially focusing on the uh, life science area. And uh, my background is a medical doctor. So the, uh, we are now uh, in Japan so to improve the, uh, the quality of the uh, current medic medical uh, service or medical technology uh, based on uh, RICAN technologies. RICAN is uh, uh, my institute, and uh, this is a uh, uh, totally, uh, it covers a whole all natural sciences. So we have a lot of uh, technologies. So we we want to use it for a, a medical purpose. Okay, go. So uh, clearly, uh, Kazan is a very uh, how can I say center for medical uh, so activity in here. So uh, we have a common purpose. We could have. So to improve the uh, quality of the med medical uh, service in the hospital. Uh, do I understand uh, that uh, your contacts uh, uh, are creative uh, and they are not restricted by any formal documents, cooperation agreements or something similar between the Center of Omics Technologies headed by Dr. Hayashizaki and the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology? Actually, Dr. Hayashizaki is not the head of the Center of Omics Technologies. He has a very important position at RICAN. He has the Center of Preventive Medicine. This is a completely new and exciting project. And uh, of course, we are working with RICAN, uh, but projects that we uh, do with Dr. Hayashizaki are with the Center of Preventive Medicine. Uh, can you explain, please, uh, or Dr. Hayashizaki, if he pleases, uh, what does it mean? Because when I hear about preventive medicine, I start to think about something that you need to drip in your nose so as not to catch a cold. You understand uh, uh, what I mean, right? You know, I think it's a bit different. I agree, but I will tell you about other things and uh, Professor Hayashizaki will explain. Earlier, uh, uh, we have told about 3P medicine, uh, but uh, there is also 4P medicine, and now 6P medicine, and uh, we will explain what that P means. Uh, 6P is the uh, first personalized medicine, personalized. Second, and the second is uh, predictive medicine, and the preventive medicine. Next is a little bit difficult. Uh, Participative medicine. Uh, uh, it's uh, like the attention helped administered by the doctor and the uh, trust between a doctor and the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the fifth one is a uh, preemptive medicine. So before the onset of the disease, uh, we intervene uh, that, uh, okay, that to maintain the. Uh, 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 patient health. If yeah. I can uh, uh, break down, uh, 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 roughly speaking, mm. Inter interventive intervention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and the uh, last one is a uh, point of care. It's good that we're talking about the problem, which is, m m in my opinion, is much more relevant to Russia than to Japan. Uh, the problem of maintaining the senior citizens' health. And I have a question in this regard. And uh, I'm sorry for uh, telling you such a compliment and you have a global value in the scientific world. You are the head of Phantom, the largest uh, research uh, center for the genomics of mammals. And at the same time, uh, you say that Kazan is uh, 
the medical research center in a broad sense. If uh, we can make a comparison, um, and uh, Kazan in particular, Kazan University, could they be considered as one uh, of the world centers for medical research? Kazan covers uh, all of the natural science and the social science, and they're very wide, and uh, you have a history. Uh, maybe it is established uh, in uh, 1804. It's, it's a quite, we have a long history. And uh, uh, so the, uh, recently, uh, we um, started the omics science uh, in Japan. Of course, uh, this is a, a big wave in, uh, in the world. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, uh, we produce uh, data uh, based on our own technologies. Uh, so uh, we develop the technologies and uh, produce the uh, data. So it's uh, quite unique. So we can share these kinds of uh, so big data uh, by uh, among the, uh, the uh, these communities. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, this type of the uh, new style of research is a, a data-driven science, so-called. Okay, data-driven science. So the uh, this is a quite new style and. Uh, uh, it's a very good uh, so uh, uh, system to share the same uh, data and uh, to analyze by the un under the collaboration. Okay, so in that sense, so we have uh, we need to have uh, invite the uh, various sorts of, so, uh, sort of the uh, uh, human resources. So uh, uh, let's say uh, medical uh, people and the computer science people, and uh, so many others, okay? Uh, so even nanotechnologies or something like that. So the, uh, and that one day, so uh, Dr. Kiyazov approached to me, and uh, so the, uh, we, can we do something together, okay? <laughs> he visited us three times in the first year, three, three years ago. So it's, uh, it was uh, really impressive. What is the most impressive, the expression of Dr. Kiyasev or the subject that he proposed? I was really very persistent and... <laughs> no, 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 not persistent. So it's, uh, it's uh, quite okay uh, uh, for us. I felt the, he, he was uh, really, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, polite, okay, and uh, uh, so he showed the... Uh, uh, he's uh, so uh, he. I felt that he is really longing for the collaboration, and uh, then I came here, and uh, looking at the uh, this uh, university, uh, you have a history, and uh, you have uh, uh, lots of sorts of uh, sci scientists, and uh, I thought that uh, this is uh, possible to invite. Uh, so this, uh, so university, his his activity, not only his activity, but also uh, other areas. I think uh, recent uh, so science, uh, this medical science and uh, life science requires uh, uh, various sorts of uh, background people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, otherwise uh, we can't we cannot uh, uh, so uh, develop or we cannot uh, analyze the, uh, such kinds of very complex uh, so organism, human being. So I think uh, oh, it's a good good chance. So because uh, they have uh, so okay, uh, <laughs> very okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I expected that Dr. Uh, Hayashizaki wouldn't change his diplomatic approach. So I will repent. Uh, so I will repeat a question, Andrei Pavlovich, a, a direct question to you. You came into contact with your Japanese colleague. You have an interest in cooperation, and we are also engaged in omics technology here. Uh, but we both understand uh, that uh, uh, here in uh, Russia, uh, Japanese uh, science, we know that Japan is kind of a super high-tech country, and we're also proud uh, of our history, so you are now in contact. And um, in your opinion, uh, how does uh, Kazan University as a whole and your institute in particular uh, correspond uh, to this standard? Uh, are you in one league? Uh, no, no. Uh, actually, we are kind of uh, students here, and uh, I can say uh, that Hayashizaki-sensei and the others, they are our teachers. 
Um, in the same way that when our university started developing, it uh, developed uh, thanks to uh, the German professors. Uh, then we had our own base of operations and uh, we became famous and uh, now we need a new partnership and this new partnership I think uh, we see here with RECAM. We learn how to make this uh, scientific technology practical and uh, this uh, particular preventive medicine project is uh, connected to genomics. Uh, uh, so uh, we learn how to translate uh, this project, how to make uh, this translational medicine, this fundamental medicine, uh, and uh, apply it in our clinical practice. Uh, that's what we have to learn. We don't know how to do this, and uh, nobody actually uh, does this in Russia. So translational medicine is uh, the uh, an area of knowledge that allows you to scale specific scientific discoveries and implement them into practice, right? Uh, correct. And uh, these are what our Japanese colleagues are doing, and uh, they started doing it already, unlike we. Mm, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So I think uh, it's not uh, specific for us, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, uh, in this timing, the uh, omics technology or uh, such a life science, okay, cutting edge life science technologies. Uh, is now uh, going to develop the uh, the application areas for medical okay field. So we are in a sta standing in that point. Mm -hmm. So uh, to do that, so only uh, uh, clearly uh, we have to have uh, uh, new technologies okay for uh, develop the new areas. But uh, uh, just uh, one team, for example, we can okay do that. It's not enough. So if we can transfer the technology to here, or uh, not only here, but also other places, okay, and uh, they will modify that, that and improve that technology so uh, to, to be used for other purposes or something. So such kinds of a network is uh, really facilitate the, the, our science and our com co uh, science, sciences, our communities. So this is the motivation for us. Because uh, he's a uh, really energetic, okay, <laughs> and uh, very keen to do this. So, <laughs> and but but uh, first impression what I has from Professor Hashizaki, he told he, he did, did you remember you told me about uh, intra-hospital infection, uh -huh. how you dissolve this problem. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, okay, so the. Uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, simple way. <laughs> so uh, recently, uh, we found the uh, uh, again. So uh, we can cover the natural science, okay, uh, all of the natural science areas. So one guy uh, developed the uh, uh, LED. Uh, so, but uh, this emits the uh, uh, ultraviolet LED. So the, this is a uh, really good uh, for uh, sterilization. So to do that. Uh, so the if it is uh, attached to the uh, so for example toilet seat, so it will be uh, uh, it will it can uh, so sterilize the certain viral agent or bacteria agent. So that is a just very simple uh, so idea, but uh, it will be effective. It's very effective. So uh, this uh, stops the uh, spread of intra-hospital infections and, uh, you know, the, uh, the source of these infections that then spread otherwise. And uh, so that's very interesting and uh, <coughs> uh, there is a wide scope of application. Uh, when we talk about the center of, preven of preventive medicine and what Dr. Hayashizaki does, uh, this is not only omics technologies in medicine, that's everything and that's what much wider. So uh, this project that we're uh, starting to make with Dr. Tanako, uh, it's not actually omics, this is the implementation of development. And uh, uh, it's very important that he has this center at Riken. Uh, he's in a special pos position, he coordinates all these activities, he talks, interviews and uh, uh, asks about problems uh, uh, to every doctor in the hospital. They don't discuss gallery or such things, but uh, they uh, uh, discuss real pertinent problems. And then he tries to solve these problems with the team. This is an amazing approach. 
Will you implement the same approach? Uh, after studying it, yes. You need to learn this too. I'm thinking about preventive medicine, about what Jap Japanese colleague told. And uh, uh, here's the question to Dr. Hayashizaki. Whether is it possible to specify in what scientific areas or sub-areas uh, is uh, the cooperation uh, between the center, led by Dr. Hayashizaki and uh, Kazan University? Uh, yes, uh, it's a quite important question. So, uh, direction is uh, uh, will will I think um, affect the, uh, our future itself. So we need to be uh, very careful for this. But uh, I think uh, direction clearly uh, the omic science. This is one of the part of the science. Okay, I explained about the uh, uh, LED. This is engineering. Okay or many others. So those are the, uh, independently such an elemental uh, technology, uh, technologies are developed, okay? However, the most important point is uh, the developer doesn't need, uh, doesn't know the, uh, how it should be used, okay? What is the point is, uh, what is the real needs? is planned. Uh, do you help them? Needs will be uh, so okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so generated from the uh, uh, from the um, hospital, actual medical doctors. Okay. So uh, so we our position was uh, we interviewed medical doctors many 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 times. We corrected. Okay. And then, so, but uh, new project, project doesn't appear yeah, just, just for this. And also, independently, we collect the uh, information of the uh, new technologies, okay? So, new elemental technologies. Then we uh, compare the where is the big, uh, good combinations. So, there's such a, uh, how can I say, uh, the combination of the, to, to discover the co good combination of the, Elemental technologies and medical needs. That is the most uh, key. So uh, we have been working for this, but uh, this can be done also in here. So you have uh, such kinds of power. Uh, Professor Hirishizaki has, for instance, already interviewed oncologists, and uh, as a result of those interviews, we have a, a new project that I already mentioned. These are uh, physicists, chemists, uh, oncologists, physicians, and biologists working together uh, in uh, in a ways to in ways to visualize uh, different types of uh, malignant tumors before the operation. This is a complex project, and uh, after interviewing the oncologists, uh, they had uh, put these tasks before them. So, what is visualization? It's like a real visible image, or uh, with the help of some devices. Uh, yes, on CT or MRI you see the uh, tumor itself, but you have to understand what kind of tumor this is. Uh, is it a carcinoma, uh, a cancer, or a sarcoma? Uh, what is the source of this tumor? Uh, so we, we have to know beforehand what it is. So you have to create a, some, some kind of system of definitions, right? No, no, it will be illuminated in different ways. Yeah, the tumor will light up in different ways. So there will be some markers. That's very interesting. And uh, so, uh, as far as I understand, this is directly related to big data. No, big data is actually another project. Information data itself. Uh, so it is uh, just a data useless. Okay. So the this data and the information should Best. be yes used mm, used in a very appropriate timing for appro appropriate people. So uh, in hospital, uh, recently uh, we have uh, 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 we could find the, uh, the certain very specific situation that is uh, the the predict we can uh, medical doctor could predict the uh, for example prognosis of the patients or uh, so side effect of the drug or responder or non responder. Okay, or to the drug, so they can judge, and uh, also uh, they can find the appropriate dose of the drugs. So these kinds of information is uh, very important for medical doctors. But uh, this can be uh, judged by, uh, diagnosed by, uh, uh, let's say, genome 
sequence and the DNA typing in certain genes. So, yeah, so, uh, but uh, uh, this information couldn't be returned to the uh, medical doctor when they uh, pres prescribe uh, the medicine for uh, patients. So, uh, the uh, uh, hospital IT system, we are now developing the, uh, the uh, systems, okay, uh, computer systems, IT systems, uh, which uh, can uh, so give the uh, alert or a certain um, caution, okay, to uh, uh, medical patient, uh, medical doctors, uh, when they uh, so prescribe the uh, certain um, drug, okay, and uh, so it will be, uh, uh, it will make uh, uh, their uh, medical service uh, be mm -hmm. very safe, uh, much safer. And uh, we have some ways uh, that uh, we will implement uh, these projects in our university clinic so that you understand. Uh, one example is uh, understandable for all the Russian people, aspirin. All people take it, but uh, our stomachs are actually suffering. Uh, so not only the stomachs, uh, also there is aspirin asthma. Uh, asthma may develop under certain mutations and under certain conditions instead of preventing blood clotting uh, it actually uh, instigates platelet aggregation and uh, affects the genome. So the idea of IT hospital is before uh, prescribing aspirin the doctor needs to know whether it would be asthma or whether he has uh, this mutation in his genome and so on. So a doctor should make a genomic research. Uh, for which drug we know uh, which mutations have side effects and uh, accordingly any drug should only be administered after we know uh, what will be safe and uh, what will actually treat the condition rather than uh, harm a person. Uh, but this is very individual and uh, this is what preventive personalized medicine is. Okay, when, then I'll ask you both to illustrate this position uh, on another example. I know that the center of your research interests, uh, Dr. Kiasov, is the regeneration of cells and organs of mammals. You're good at it. This is your thesis topic, uh, your research and so on. And uh, Dr. Hayashizaki engages in preventive medicine. So you aspire to restore something destroyed and he seeks to prevent the destruction. And where can you work together? Where is the point of intersection of your interests? What we, I, we did, okay, yeah. uh, was uh, uh, we analyzed the uh, RNA, cDNA of the ES cells. But uh, so this is our, our job, okay? Yeah. So just uh, we should put it on the website and open to the public for red of the community people's use it, okay? So this is uh, uh, really good for everybody. So um, Dr. Yamanaka's case is uh, one of them. Many people are using, okay? So they have a database. But uh, that, that is a, a new style of the uh, uh, science, data-driven science, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, if I understand correctly, uh, this uh, style of uh, scientific research involves the creative competition, but does it involve some trade secrets? All information is available to any researcher, right? Uh, uh, so the, uh, this was a really uh, debated issue. So the DNA sequence? Okay, in the past, so uh, uh, so the uh, it belongs to everybody. <laughs> yeah, so that's right. <laughs> so so sequence itself uh, exists inside of our body. Okay, uh, just to sequence it, so yeah. it could be patented. So that is uh, our common uh, current sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, following this uh, uh, concept, so we just uh, follow that. Uh, but if you can, knowing the genome sequence, create something that will help and uh, get uh, money from it also, please welcome. Uh, do you recommend it to me? Uh, well, after talking to you, I think I start to dive into the world of the medical technologies. Thank you very much for that. Unfortunately, our time is uh, coming to an end, and I would like uh, to actually finish in the same way that I begun, uh, uh, with a completely standard question. You have been here many times in Kazan, and I think you have your own perception of people who work here with whom you have contact, the atmosphere that exists here. Uh, can you share it with us? Generally, I think uh, such kinds of a relation, okay, uh, is 
uh, used to be based on a personal relation, so it's an individual relation, individual level. So I think uh, uh, I'm frankly, no, okay, English. it's a very much comfortable uh, uh, to be here. So because of, how can I say, so our mental climate, Japanese mental climate is uh, similar to yours, <laughs> seriously. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. uh, so uh, I, I think uh, in that sense, so uh, we can think, uh, uh, so if we collaborate, okay, to aim at uh, something, we can think the uh, so uh, in the same way and uh, in a, how can I say based on the same concept. So that is a really a good uh, advantageous uh, aspect uh, for us uh, to start the collaboration. And maybe it will be a, a really good reason to continue it. In fact, I agree with Professor Hayashizaki. Uh, the Japanese people are very friendly, and we're also friendly, and so we can easily communicate with each other. On this inspirational note, let me finish the program. Once again, thank you very much for coming. I hope that this is not our last encounter. Good luck and all the best to you. Have a good day, dear viewers. Thank you.